Dampfer zwei Strich Steuerbord voraus. Was für Dampfer? Schwedische Leute. Stoppt ihn. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Where did you leave the convoy? Bergen. Any contraband? No. Right. I'll see the cargo first, then I'll look at your passengers in their cabins. They can remove their life belts. Everybody to their cabins! Remove your life belts! Everybody to your cabins! Remove your life belts! When did you leave Holland? On the 14th. Say you're a Dutchman. You have my passport? What, this? This isn't genuine. But what, what do you mean by that? I know all about you. You're not a Dutchman, you're a Belgian. And this is your last trip. Take him away. But you can't do this. I'm Dutch, I tell you. I'm Dutch. I'm a neutral subject. I'm Dutch, I tell you. I never was in Belgium in my life. Good I'm Dutch. You can't I'm a neutral man. man. This is a neutral ship, and he's a Dutchman. You have no right to take a passenger off a neutral ship. Every right. The man is a spy. Your name? Madeleine Goddard. This lady's passport. Madeleine Goddard, Swiss. In order. One, two, three, four, five. Why do you make so many trips between Stockholm and Paris? For business. How long has this business been going? Three years, since January 1915. What is the business? Ladies' dresses. My new season's models. Yeah. I suppose you might class this as ammunition for the Stockholm front.
These are the loveliest things we've ever had in the shop. They're French. Paris. At least you can claim a success at something. Something that even a German brain can appreciate. Oh, Madame, am I to be insulted like this? Is it a crime to be German? It's worse. It's a vulgarity. Colette, I will not have this quarrelling. I don't want French women here. Huh. Nor German women. I want saleswomen. Ring for Anatole. Anatole, have you swept up this morning? Assuredly, madam. Anatole? What can one do with a broom as bare as the behind of the Burgomaster's baby? Show it to me. The broom? Certainly, madam. And take this. We're going to the Countess Lindestrom. My head and cape, please, Maud. You see, madam. Yes. I can see that it must have taken a lot of hard work to reduce it to this condition. Get your cap. Perhaps I should render more satisfaction with a mechanical sweeper such as are used in the better shops. Just ready for me. Will you go right in, please? Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. Some new models have arrived. The latest Paris fashions? The latest French designs. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. West Verdun. West Verdun. Seventy-one. Seventy-one. Eighty-three. Eighty-three. Ninety-one. Ninety-one. West of Chateau Thierry. To West of Chateau Thierry. Have you got it? Madeleine, what was that last number? Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Good. Disposition of the third and fourth French army group. Send it off. Navy blue, picked out with stars and finished off with stripes. American troop transport. Anything else? My bill. Mm. 
Madeline, you're a very charming young woman, but you're a very expensive luxury. Charming young women are. And they give you something you can't get from anyone else. Oh, if it were only for me, I wouldn't cavil. Ah, oh, Major, if it were only for you, I wouldn't charge. But I'm responsible to headquarters. And I'm responsible to my partners in Paris, who are risking their lives and mine. All right. I'll send the check. Thank you. I expect so. How do you do? Well, what news? I got seven days leave in Paris. Good. And then? That's all. Well, where were K-1, 2, 4 and 5? I wish I knew. I have a strong notion that I was under observation myself. Our system needs drastic reorganization, especially in the neutral countries. Slessor, you take over Copenhagen and understand this. You'll be judged by results. And for Stockholm, we need the best man we've got in Section 8. That's so. Dr. Muller, you are a physician. Yes. You've come to Sweden for the German medical service. To look after our prisoners returning from Russia. You signed an undertaking at our consulate in Berlin to refrain from any political activity. Certainly. It's my duty to remind you of that undertaking. And welcome to Sweden. Thank you. Good morning. Baron Karl Marwitz from Hohenhau in Württemberg, landowner. Captain in the German Navy. Mm -hmm. Yes, von Mauritz. Political undertaking signed. You're welcome in Sweden, but only so long as you refrain from any political activity. <laughs> I came to Sweden because I want to refrain from any political activity. You're on sick leave? Yes. Wounded? Twice. Your leave expires in two weeks. I'm not going back. How long have you the means to support yourself here? Oh, uh, 16 years. 20, if I'm careful. This is a very serious matter, Baron Marwitz. Very. If you would just look at these. You can stay in Sweden as long as you respect our laws. Thanks, please. Thank you. Porter. Watches, clocks, toys, cigarettes, liquor, anything to declare? Only my intention to finish this. Score. A Russian girl would say if you kissed her? Yes. Or a Dutch girl? Of course. Oh, that's too easy. Could you tell us what a Brazilian girl would say? Certainly. Ah, oh, that's where we've got you. Why? Yes, let's go. Oh, Lupita? Yes, Lupita. Get her, get her, get her, get her, yeah. Shall I come up? No, Bob, I'll be down in a minute. My British evening has called for me. Then don't miss a moment of it. Goodbye. Clever girl, that. Probably our best worker. Yes. She has an innocent face. <laughs> That's the key of her success. How long has she been with us? Three years. You double-checked her story? Naturally. She comes from a lawyer. 
Father's property destroyed to make defense fortifications on the Swiss-Italian border. A volunteer? Not exactly. I was responsible. There you are. <laughs> well, he's doing it again. What? Writing down what a girl will say when he's kissed her. <laughs> Why should I? Oh, come on, it's only a game. You'll spoil it all. It's oh, it's okay. Okay. Oh, no. Not bad, but you need practice. Oh. <laughs> there you are. You're short of practice. <laughs> At least introduce us. Lopita, Baron Marwitz. Goodbye, Baron. Don't be discouraged. Well, what are you laughing at? Well, there's a bloke in the bar just pulled the most amazing stunt. Well, what was it? He writes down in advance what any girl will say after he kisses her. Does he get it right? Every time. Oh, shut oh, up, oh. Yes. How on earth could he do that? Well, there are probably only about a half a dozen things a girl of that kind will say. Yes, but how does he get the right one? I imagine he writes them all down on slips of paper and fills his pocket before he comes out. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, one, 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 six martini wine. Right? Yes, yes. Who is? Liar, cheat, trickster. Look the cheat. Here's another one. Give it to me. Look at this. You can you you fool your pizza, huh? What do you charge for lessons? More, please. You've done this before. I wish you'd teach my husband. What have you to say? Let's dance. How did you find me out? It was Madeleine. Madeleine? Who is Madeleine? One of your cows? Oh, no. She's a shop. Very chic. Look, there she is. Dancing with the English boy. This is one of the times I'm sorry I left that arm in France. You're doing pretty well with the one you've got. Ah, that's Madeleine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was I engaged as an engine driver? No. Do I get an engine driver's wages? <laughs> Assuredly not. Come along, clumsy. Who are you to give me orders? She can't help it, Anatole. It's her German blood. I happen to be Viennese. Same thing in Wolf's time. Sauerkraut. Frog's pawn. Gertrude, cull it. I will not have my shop turned into a bear garden. I'm sick of the French and I never want to see a German again. Then I'd better go. Oh, no, please come in. I was only trying to prevent my shop being turned into a battlefield. What can I show you? Oh, just a bag. Gertrude, show madame a bag, will you? What kind of a bag, madame? An evening bag. Huh? That'll do, Anatole. How about this, madame? It's one of the nicest we have in the shop. Carl, do you like this? Charming. Lie there, you roaring beast. That's the dress, the shoes, stockings, hair ornament, and the bag. They match the bag beautifully, madame. Dress, shoes, stockings, hair ornament, and the bag. This way to our fitting room, please. You have marvelous saleswomen, hmm? They do their best. They are better than that. A girl comes in for a bag and goes out with the whole shop. A girl who goes out shopping with a man means to have the whole shop. Uh -huh. 
How much do I owe you? By the way, why did you give away my little trick last night? Because you claim to know such a lot about women. Do you? Enough to realize I know nothing about them. Which means that you've had a lot of experience. Oh, a lot. But what does it amount to? 1,275 kronen. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you a very good customer today. He doesn't care how he spends his money. Oh, one has only to look at Madame to see that. <laughs> You won't give away my next trick so easily, I promise you. Send the things to the Grand Hotel at once, please. Certainly, madam. Au revoir, Madeleine. Carl, I have bought everything I want. Have you? Shut up! You cannot teach me manners. I am afraid you are right. And what is more, my father was a Brazilian general. You don't believe that, I suppose. I do, I do, I do. Oh, no, you don't. You think I'm lying. Will you please convince the lady outside? Go on, call me a liar. Go on, say it. You dare All right? Get out. Go to your shopkeeper. That's the first sensible thing you've said. May I tell you how very sorry I am for what happened today? Oh, don't apologize. We keep a shop, and it's open to everyone. Plain women or dazzling beauties. Goodbye. Goodbye. And if you could ever take pity on a lonely man, <laughs> don't laugh at me. Dine with me. I'm sorry, I can't. You would be doing a great kindness. I live in a desert. Packed with dazzling beauty. Excuse me. Hello? Is that you, Bob? Tonight at 7.30. At the Grand? No pity. I'm sorry. All right, Bob, at 7.30. All right, Madeline, you're an angel. What do you think? I don't know. She's from Maloya. Her father's farm was destroyed to make way for Swiss frontier defences. I'll double check all that when I get to London. She's a sweet thing and I hate to suspect her. But she's got a lot of German friends. She's got a lot of French friends. One or two English friends. Yes, I know. That's what's got me guessing. See what you can find out at the cherry orchard. to the fatherland, deserter. Court marshal during absence, cashiered. Sentence to death. Funny. Doesn't look that tight. What makes you think so? Instinct. Feminine instinct. Professional. What do they think of the cherry orchard? I haven't inquired. Will you?
spying. You know anything about Malvitz? What do they say about the Swiss girl? Plenty. It will cost you 50. Page. Take Mr. Baron Marvitt's room. Here it is, again. What's happened to the Baron? Hmm. You may well ask. I've never seen such a change. How do you mean, change? Change of habit, that's what I mean. It used to be all girls with no clothes. No, it's all clothes with no girls. Pity. Nice. Oh, I'll have this one for my collection. You can't. Oh, no, they've just arrived from Paris, and, madame, I want to show them to our best customer. I am your best customer. Oh, no, you're not. Now it's then, a... will you pack this one? This one? And... This one for the Countess Lindestrom. Yes, madame. That's all very well. What's left for me? Everything else in the shop. All right. Pack it up. Carl, this nonsense must stop. Buying things you don't want just an excuse to come here. You won't come out with me. I won't sell you anything else. That means you forbid me to come here. Precisely. All right, Madeleine. I lose. No, Carl. You win. Tonight? All right. I have a feeling I shall be sorry for this. Colette, tell her until I'm ready, will you? Yes, madam. <laughs> You're a shrewd one. No. I don't claim to be any cleverer than the next man. Only the next man's always a bigger fool than I am. Now then, lazy bones, you've got to go out of these frocks. Frocks? What do they want frocks for? Big Leaf was good enough for Eve, and she was the first lady in the land. Mm. Gertrude, I've forbidden the Baron to buy another thing. So mind your firm with him. Goodbye. Goodbye. I knew she'd put a stop to this one day. Well, no lady would ever accept presents from a man, anyhow. Well, of course not. Oh. Oh, my favorite scent. Well, every woman has her price. And what might that be? Whew. This is an expensive shop. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four. Three, four. Eight, seven. Eight, seven. Four, two. Four, two. Four, two. Probable date of offensive, 20th. Tanks to be used on a large scale. General line of attack, Northwest Marne salient. Excellent, Madeleine, excellent. Headquarters have been clamoring for news of the counteroffensive, and we are the first to give it. For immediate dispatch, sir? Mark it urgent. Madeline, I'm proud of you. Have you got it yet? Finishing now. Clear all lines to general headquarters. Army Corps to entrain tonight. Twenty first to move up and reserve. Anti tank guns in position by six o'clock. Anti tank guns in position by six o'clock. Mines to be exploded by officer commanding company one. Mines to be exploded by officer commanding company one.
just for that terribly old And each little star above you, dear Is tired of hearing it told What a successful rival. Oh? The gallant Baron. Is that all? That's all. What did you find out in London? Nothing definite. But I've got a call to make. Hello. Hello. Give me the police. Are you still sorry you came out with me that first evening? Yes. That's why I've been out with you 13 evenings since. And you've discovered all the secrets of my dark soul. So what? Two, please. Go on, tell me how bad I am. It is easy to touch your pocket, but difficult to touch your heart. True. Manners, good. Milk? Thank you, Black. Intentions, lamentable. How true. When you're with one woman, you're thinking of the next. You've never been simple, sincere, loyal or faithful to any woman in your life. Go on. Isn't that enough? You've forgotten my most important asset. What's that? That you love me. Why are you trying to resist? You won't succeed. How do you know I won't? Because I tried. But I couldn't. I want to take you away. Away from your friends, your business. No time for anyone but me. You want to take everything? And give everything. And share everything. Mustn't you if you marry? Madeline Gollard, you're wanted at police headquarters. You identify the man? Do you know anything of his life? Only that he was a most faithful and devoted servant. Quite. In business hours. But you had no reason to suspect him of pro-German activities. How could I? He hated them. 
Some interesting German correspondence was found on him, however. Uh, let me see, Miss Goddard. You're a Swiss, aren't you? Yes. I suppose you have dealings with a good many Germans, don't you? I have clients of all nationalities. And yet you had no idea that the faithful and devoted Anatole was a spy. She's already said she... Silence, had... please. I beg your pardon, but is it necessary to distress the lady any further? I'm sorry to press the question, but I must have all the information you can give the court. Willingly. But I can only tell you that I've lost a friend. Thank you. That is all for the present. Do you know who did it? Possibly someone from the Cherry Orchard. Something much more terrible has happened. It was all lies. What? Your information about the French counteroffensive. But there was an attack. Yes. And our army stopped it. But it stopped the wrong attack. The real one came in another part of the line where our troops had been withdrawn. Thanks to your information. But... Your partners in Paris are either incompetent or they're working for the French counter-espionage. That's impossible. What do you think went wrong? I don't know. But you're going to find out. You go to Paris. No, Doctor. I say yes. You forget what happened here tonight. It's suicide. It's duty. But I'm swift. You're a member of our organization? You know what that means? What are my orders? You will find out what's gone wrong with our organization. And what has become of K124 and 5? You'll get detailed instructions in due course. You leave tomorrow by the Gothenburg boat. You will be getting her another porter. Grand Hotel, please. Is that the Grand Hotel? Can I... Hello. Hello. half an hour, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Thank you.
Marilyn Goddard. Will you step this way, please? Please sit down. What made you come to France again? Uh, for business. What business? There were difficulties with my firm. Coutins. What difficulties? Well, the prices are too high, even for wartime. Couldn't you write? I did, without much success. Madeleine Goddard, you go to Paris under escort. You are under arrest. Are your sympathies with France? No. With Germany? No, I'm a neutral. There's a German secret service in Stockholm? Yes, sir. How did you know? Well, everyone knows. There's a French and British one, too. Have you met anybody belonging to the German service? I may have. One never knows in Stockholm. You had an employee called uh, Anatole Bergen? I had. Was he a member of the German service? The Swedish police seem to think so. But you never knew? No, I never knew. Very well, you will remain under arrest for the moment. My business house may be anxious. Would you send a word to Maison Cotin? That can be arranged. Thank you. Madeline, how's the journey? Any submarines about? Oh, the usual number. And how's Paris? Oh, the war, you know. Oh, Monsieur Coutin. Ah, Madeleine, my dear, I'm delighted to see you. I've got lots of new models to show you, and I'm sure that all our little differences can be quite easily smoothed out. Nice calm trip. Well, the weather was calm enough. Mm -hmm. Usual held ups and alarms, isn't it? Yes, not very pleasant travelling in wartime. I'm so glad to see you again. I'm afraid your reception in France was hardly what you had a right to expect. Oh, I don't know. But I didn't... Did you... The Medal Militaire. The highest award that France can give one of her soldiers. Excellency, I... That represents the real feelings of a grateful country. It'll be my safekeeping until the day comes when you can wear it. May that be so. Tell me, why did they send you back again? They say my partners in Paris are either incompetent or working for the French counter-espionage. I should prefer them to think we're incompetent. Do they know about K124 and 5? That's what they send me to find out. Firing squad? K125 was a woman, wasn't she? Mm-hmm. In the central post office. Poor soul. Your Excellency, forgive me. Forgive you for what? Don't send me back to Stockholm. We need you. Haven't I done enough? Too much to fail us now. I can't face it, I can't. After three years of misery, to pretend, to cheat, to lie, it's degrading. Is it because of Marwitz? What do you know about him? Only that he has been taking up a great deal of your time. All right, I'll meet you halfway. Make this one last effort and you can come back to France for good. And what is the last effort? Find out who's the head of Section 8. But isn't it Dr. Miller? I don't know. There's another German in Stockholm that I'm rather interested in. This is for your information. You must think me a prize fool. You do the British intelligence and injustice. At least I shall know who's who in Stockholm. Well, now you know, please forget. 
I've already forgotten Madeleine Goddard's name. Côte vous napolitaine avec des petits pois à la française. And the sweet? Uh, pot de crème chocolatique. Half an hour. Very good, Beth. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Carl. A lovely dinner. I can't wait half an hour. We we'll start with cocktails. Back in circulation? I'm afraid not. Oh. In confidence, some officers arrived this evening from Siberia. Prisoners of war going home. What of it? They haven't seen a girl for three years. <gasps> no! <laughs> All right, Carl. I know your shop girl came home today. Bollinger or six. Your everlasting love that didn't last three weeks. But it did? Yes, please. To your marriage vows, which are forgotten. But they are not. Then why are you looking at me as if you'd never seen me before? Because I'm not sure I have. Yes, please. Stopped by a submarine. Arrested. Drilled by the Paris police. And there you sit, the slip of a girl, looking as if it were all in the day's work. What of it? You frighten me. I suppose I'm a coward. Nonsense. And what have you been doing while I've been flirting with death and destruction? Oh, trembling for you. And wondering what I should do when you return. And have you made up your mind? I told you I was a coward. Prisoners of war? Yes, from Siberia. Oh. Who is it? One of my best friends, Otto von Berndorf. Hello, Otto. I read that you were a deserter. Two. What's wrong, Otto? What's the matter here? Gentlemen, please, gentlemen. Ask him if you want satisfaction. Gentlemen, please. Orchestra, please, orchestra. <laughs> you run away for? Why spoil a perfectly wonderful evening? There's a greater force than all the armies in the world. Stupidity. Did you want a public brawl? I wanted to see you kill that man. <laughs> oh, Madeline. <laughs> kill a decent boy on his first night out after three years in Siberia? Come, Madeline. Where's your sense of humor, hmm? I've succeeded in convincing you that I am a coward. You have. Good night. Very well. That's how you feel? Good night. Carl. Hmm? I think you're the bravest man who ever served his country. That's very sweet of you. 
But how do I serve my country? As a deserter? As head of Section 8 of the German intelligence. When did you find out? Tonight at the Grand Hotel. And why do you tell me? Because you must know that I'm in the German service too. I know more than that. I know that you're not Swiss. You're French. I know your name isn't Godard, but Mont Denis. And I know that you've outwitted us for three years while you were serving your country as I served mine. Thank God. No more lies. Thank God. I want you to take me away. Away from my friends and business. From everyone but you. That's my dream. Where shall we go? We have a villa on the Mediterranean near Nice. That's France, and I'm German. There's Switzerland. How shall we get there? By walking down the trenches and getting out at the end? This is the lovely spot. <laughs> right in the middle of the revolution. Here it is, Lake Garda. The bluest blue in the world. And the mountains are reflected in the water. And the music of the cowbells floats across the meadows. And the guns are all day and night. So this is the end of the dream. That's the end. Marowitz is the head of Section 8. Schaefer. Schaefer, you will go back to Berlin tomorrow and report for duty. These are your orders, and you'll have to be quick and clever. I need your help desperately. Cyrus warned you, Mike. Come on. Bob, I... 
That's all right, Miss Garbutt. I went with you to Paris. Oh, well, what's happened? I found out who's the head of Section 8. Who? The Marvitz. He's found out who I am, too. The devil he has. Oh, Bob, I must get away from here. If they get me, you remember what happened to the others? That's all right. Don't you worry. We'll get you out of this. How about going into hiding for a while? It's impossible. There's nowhere in Sweden where they wouldn't find me. We'll make a boat for Norway. Same thing. There's no single place. Shh, don't do. talk. Faber. That gang wouldn't much fancy coming into conflict with the Swedish police, would they? The last thing they'd care to risk. And it's all right. You're going to be as safe as a church if you do as I tell you. Now, here's the program. <laughs> Where are they? For thirty men and women tomorrow morning. What for? To go shopping. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning madam. Good morning. Will you come this way? Move fast, but not till everyone's inside. They should all be in by now. What about the cars? They'll be outside the shop. Right. Let everybody be cheerful. A gay crowd. And above all, no trouble with the police. Who put the sale notice on the window? Hello. Hello. This way, Madeleine. Your customers are waiting for you. Yes, there's a dress in the window. I want you to let me have a look at it. Madeleine got it? Come with me. From the information before me, it's quite clear that your so-called dressmaker's business was merely a cloak for the deliberate organization and pursuit of espionage. I'm out of patience with you people who abuse the hospitality of the country that shelters you. It's time an example was made. And in spite of the evidence of the Mr. Robert Carter, as to your character and so forth, in extenuation of your offence, I'm not sure I oughtn't to sentence you to a term of imprisonment. On account of your youth, however, I think justice will be met if I sentence you to be deported by the first available boat, and you will be kept in strict attention meanwhile. Have you got her? Someone denounced her as a French agent. The police arrived and arrested her. Hmm. <laughs> that means she'll sail from Gothenburg. See to it.
You can unlock the door when you're outside the three mile limit. What are you doing there? The hotel. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I want to see your passengers, Captain. Come with me. You can't do this. Certainly not. This is a neutral ship. And this lady's a non-combatant. She has a Swiss passport, but she's not Swiss. She's a French citizen and a member of the French intelligence. Holländischen Dampfer am Backboard. Einschuss vor dem Boot. in the nick of time. That'll be Bob Carter's girlfriend in the pinnace. Huh, Cuthbert, I trow that yonder submarine means us but little good. Nay, but speak her fair, good Sir Eustace, lest she hand us a round shot from yonder culverin. Hop into the boat thou and thy lousy panic party. Aye, aye, sir. Action stations. Submarine bearing green four five. Carry on. One eight double O. One eight double O.
Bearing green, three five. Bearing green, three five. One seven double oh. One seven double oh. One five double oh. One five double oh. Green two five. One four double oh. Four fifty. Green nine oh. Green nine oh. All guns load. All guns load. Prepare for action. Prepare for action. Over, Sala. What's the fuck off? Think for the beta. Snell fire. Fire. Range 500. Fire. I'm, I'm. Unless you sink this ruddy submarine in 45 seconds, I'll... signaling sir. Is God out? Yes. I'm glad we arrived in time. You've had rather a rough passage, haven't you? Find the ship. Do you know how to thank you? Oh, don't thank me. Thank Master Bob. Send. Prisoner. To destroy immediately. Bad luck, Captain Mothers. We've managed to rescue some of your men. Show it to the captain, will you? Uh -huh. I show you, Captain, I'll make you as comfortable as possible. You can come destroy us now. I'm sorry. I can't entertain you after all. 
I've got to hand you over to our destroyer. Take Captain Morris to the destroyer. What are they going to do to him? They're not going to shoot him, are they? My dear lady, we don't shoot our prisoners of war. He'll be in turn for the duration. <laughs> 